Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to model and simulate these two hammerhead pier in Minus Civil. So the first thing we'll do is to close this project and open a new project. Then we'll verify that the unit you're using are the kilonewton and meters. After that, we'll create a material. So go in the section uh, in the property tab and click on material property to add a new material. So we'll use concrete material. The code will be ESTMRC and you can choose the grade C3000. Just click on OK and close. Now, now that we've created the material for our model, we'll begin by creating the portion of the circular column using the structure wizard. For that, go in the structure tab and choose the plate base structure wizard. For the type of the plate, you can choose circular plate. The radius will be 0.8. And uh, for the material, just enter 2. Uh, we do that because uh, we, will we will not use this plate element, but we will extrude it into 3D models, so we don't really need to assign any material for the moment. Now choose the Edit tab and click on Number of Division. For the M factor, enter 16 and 4 for the N coefficient. Now go in the Insert tab and enter the following coordinates, minus 4, 0, 0, uh, minus 90 for the alpha angle, um, and click on the button Show to see the numbers here, and choose the three, uh, op the option number 3. Now click on Apply, and you'll see the circular meshes are created. Now I can close that. And we'll create a group in order to assign these elements into this group and to use them later. So to do that, right-click on Structure Group here, click on New. Uh, you can call it Circular Column. Column. And to assign these elements into this group, first you have to select this element on the screen and then to drag and drop your, uh, your group in the main screen. So you will see the number of nodes will be 65 and the number of elements 64. Now we will create the rectangular plate elements in the vicinity of the circular plate to build up the footing. So click on Create Node, and uh, we will display the node numbers, so it will be better to see them here. Um, in the coordinates, enter minus 3, 0, and 0. Enter 1 for the number of time, and for the distance, don't forget to enter 1 meter here for the dy. Now click on Apply. And if you see here, two nodes have been created, node 66 and node 67. Now we'll create another node. So this time, enter um, minus 4, 1, and 0 in the coordinate field. Enter 0 for number of time, and click on Apply. Now that we've done that, we'll divide these uh, nodes in several other nodes. So choose equal distance, three for the number of divisions. And when you click in this window, you can select on the screen directly the nodes you want to divide. So select first 66 and 67, then 67 and 68, and create like that a series of nodes. 
now you can uh, activate also the element number and we'll begin to create these uh, plate elements here so click on create elements here choose plate check that you you used four nodes plate and uh, thick for the type for the material you can use this one and just check that this intersect node is uh, chosen then click in this section and in this order you can like that click on the screen to create the plate elements to make the junction with the pile now we'll create some temporary line elements along the right edge to extrude the line elements and generate plate elements in the x direction so choose truss in the elements type and this time uh, you have always to confirm that uh, intersect node and element is checked then uh, you can use uh, for example you can choose these two nodes 66 and 67 and to see better what's happening you have to check the shrink option so now you see the truss element here has been created um, now that you've done that just click on extrude and in the extrusion choose line element planner element now remove uh, no Confirm that the check for the remove is here because uh, you, you don't need this truss element after that, so it will be removed. Um, plate for the element type, thick. Now for the type translate, equal distance, and here you have to choose the 0 0.5 and the number of uh, times you will extrude this distance. So enter 6 and just click. On, uh, you have to select this element first so you can select recent entities for example so it will select the the last entity you created now you can apply and it will directly create all these elements now we'll do the same uh, in the other direction so again choose create element so create element truss um, choose the node 68 to the node 96 now we'll extrude these nodes so choose extrude uh, select the recent entity so in the extrude type choose line element planner element check that you have the remove here translate uh, for the distance the same 0.5 so we have to write it here again 0 0.5 number of time it will be 5 this time and click on apply now you see your plate here has been created now we'll use the mirror option in order to create the the plate in these four quarters too so to do that we will first Mm, go into click on mirror then to select only the plate there's a trick so select all the elements on the screen then select group here right click and unselect so you see the circle uh, at the middle has been unselected so again click on mirror and this type you have to choose the mode copy uh, for the plane it will be zx plane so at uh, zero for the meter click on apply and you see it has been created here now select previous okay to select again this plate and this tag will mirror it in the other direction so you have to choose the plane uh, yz and minus four okay just click on apply and it's done now we will mirror this plate uh, to be here so select recent entity and again plane zx uh, at zero meter and click apply and now we have 
uh, whole shape. Now what we want to do is to extrude this uh, plate element in three dimension. So to do that, the first thing we will do is to create some subgroups that will be used to do the extrusion. So uh, first of all, and display uh, turn off these options to undisplay this, so it will be a bit better. Uh, go in the group option, uh, right click on structure group, and this time choose the second new. Um, and for the name, you can enter. Uh, let's say subgroup. Okay, uh, enter one number one two five. And click on add. Close that, and now you see it created automatically five subgroups. So we'll just add some elements to these groups. So uh, the first subgroup will be. Uh, so choose this option, select by window, and select like that uh, the elements of the first subgroup and drag and drop subgroup 1 on that to create the first subgroup. Then for the second subgroup, select the elements here, like that, okay, and drag and drop the subgroup 2. For the subgroup three, select the part of the middle part with the peer, and drag and drop to uh, to add the elements into the subgroup three. Now we'll create a subgroup four like that. So up, and finally uh, the subgroup. So the subgroup five. So unselect that. Select only this uh, portion. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot three elements here. Okay. And drag and drop subgroup five. Okay. Now we can go into the eyes of view. So click on eyes of view here. And we can begin to extrude whole elements. So select all the elements on the screen, click on extrude, and here in the extrude type, choose planar element, solid element. Um, here, be sure to um, choose move in uh, the source option. So we'll not remove these uh, elements. Now confirm that the element type is the solid and for the generation type choose translate equal distance 0.5 for the dz and 4 for the number of time. Now you can click on apply and your solid elements will be generated. Like that. Now we'll do the same, but only for uh, to generate the column. So do, to do that, go in the group again and double click on circular column. Now again, go in extrude and in extrude elements, choose planar elements, solid elements. Be sure to uh, remove the check in here into remove. Uh, so it will not uh, delete the planar mesh because we will use it, this uh, mesh later. Confirm that it uses translate. Uh, here in the translation option choose thickness and equal choose 12 for the number of times and for the thickness of each uh, use 0.5 plus Z for the direction, click on apply, and now you see how peer has been created. Okay. If you uh, want to view a bit better the model, you can unactivate these uh, nodes. So you can go in the display window, 
here uh, you have the node tab and you can just uncheck the node so uh, your model will look uh, a bit better.